Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Monday, April 26, and I have finished objects for you and works in progress. So I have three finished objects, three works in progress, and I apologize if I seemed rushed. Uh, today is my grandson's birthday. We're going out to eat and I need to not make this too long. So we'll just get right into it and start with my finished objects. So the first one I have to show you is this. It's a crocheted washcloth. This is it. This is a bag a day pattern. Um, the tutorial is 425. I made mine smaller than hers. This has 30 stitches. I, I um, chained 30, so it's a little bit smaller. So it's got really good texture. So, and the yarn that I used is the Lily Sugar and Cream. This is what I have, this is it. This is what I have left. Um, it is uh, 85 grams, mm, 150 yards. It's 100% cotton. And let's see, the pattern is, or the pattern name is Hippie. So this is what I have left which wouldn't, I don't, it wouldn't be enough for another washcloth uh, unless I did it a little bit smaller, which I might do. And the size hook I used is this five millimeter um, tulip hook, which I love, really, really love. So that's my first finished object. Alrighty, my second finished object is a hat, a knit hat. Here it is. Let me just kind of position it better. Yep, this is a knit hat. Um, I just sort of did my own thing. I haven't, it kind of, I think, needs to be blocked. I haven't blocked it. Um, but here it is. I just sort of did my own thing. It's just a basic hat, and I just decided to do some pearl stitches here like every 10 rounds and there's the top but here's the hat um the yarn that i used is it is the muse it's a knit picks yarn muse aaron weight the colorway is glee speckle it's 114 yards 100 grams um, hundred percent super wash merino. Let's see anything else. Where is it made? Made in Japan. And this is what I had left. I think, no, I was going to say, I thought maybe I got this in a mystery box or a mystery bag that they do, but this, I actually, they had a Valentine's sale. I'm pretty sure I, that's when I got this. So that's the hat. Like I said, I just did my own thing. I don't like, so I decreased in the pearls because I wanted to keep the keep it the same. You know, I wanted this to be 10 rows. And that was, I. if I did this again, which I'm sure I'll do a hat again, but I wouldn't decrease. I wouldn't have done that because I would prefer if it was straight like this. So that's the hat. Although I think if I wash it and block it, that that will relax a bit. And I like the top of it. Okay, so there's the, oh, and I used crochet, um, knitting needles. I used four millimeter for this, for the brim. This is two by two. And then for the body of the hat, I used a five millimeter. And I used my Addies for that. And then to close the top, I used, I did a magic loop. So that is my second finished object. And get a sip. My third, now did I, yes I did. Okay, my third finished object is a crochet, uh, um, is crochet project and they are crocheted baby socks. Oh, let me get the hat out of the way. Oops, look. Aren't they cute? Oh, they're cute. Crochet baby socks, and I 
think this is supposed to fit or the size that I did was three to six months. And this is also a YouTube tutorial. It is Kroby Patterns, Kroby, C-R-O-B-Y, I'm going to say Kroby, Kroby Patterns. And it is the How to Crochet Quick Easy Baby Socks. Um, they were quick and easy, yes. The first one gave me, you know, I think, I actually think knitting socks was easier than this. I mean, the second sock wasn't too bad, but the first one, you know, you got to crochet. One thing about crochet is knitting for a lot of it, you see your stitches. And here with crochet, you you kind of sometimes have to guess where to put your stitches. Like, is that a stitch or is it a slip stitch or is it a chain or, you know, these little guessing drove me nuts, but they are so cute. And I use the yarn that I used. This is a scrap ball. I made socks out of these, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of yarn left because it's it's thin yarn. It's a thin yarn, but it's or it's a you know a number one, but it's really thin, even for a number one. So I made socks out of these knit socks, and this, so this is the scraps, and this is by No Law Knits hand dyed yarn. That's the tag. There, I'm pretty sure she doesn't dye yarn anymore. She was local she was well she was i don't know how local but she was from georgia um and it is 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent wool and it the colorway is pele and i use the hook that i used is a 3.25 the pattern calls for a three millimeter and I'm sure I have one, but I pulled this 3.25 out. And I said, that's fine. So here they are. They're so cute. I think that's about it for that. So that is all my finished objects. And now we'll get into works in progress. And one more. Okay. Let me kind of situate stuff different. So my first finished object, or sorry, works in progress is Ami, is an amigurumi. I am making Mr. Blue, that guy right there. I am making him, I'm attempting to, and this is out of the Amigurumi Monsters book. This is the first book. They have a second book. I'm pretty sure they just have two monster books. All right, and oh, so I'll show you the actual thing. But you see where the mouth is? I'm, I'm not liking this. This that's about where I'm at. I haven't. So I finished the mouth. Oh, and I just I don't know. I think I'm going to have to stuff it to try to shape it right to get it to look like that. Oh, I'm not happy with this at all. I'm definitely going to have to stuff it in order to see. Look at that. It looks silly. So that's where I'm at on this. And I'm not very happy. The instructions, I don't understand what she's he or she is trying to say on how to close the mouth out. It's supposed to look like this. Oh, this is the directions they, these are the pictures they give you to try to help you do it. It's not helping me. So at any rate, so I'll figure it out somehow. I don't know, maybe I, I crocheted the mouth wrong and that's why it's just not laying right. I think if I stuff it, it'll help, but there's that. Not happy. Um, I'm using this yarn. This is the ball yarn or some what's left. It's Karen Simply Soft Party. Um, it is a number four and it is 99% acrylic and 1% metallic because you can see it's got the sparkles in it. It is 164 yards, 85 grams. Teal Sparkle is the name, and it is made, where is it made? 
Well, let's see. Made in Turkey. And I am using a oh, 3.5 millimeter hook for this. I like clover hooks as well. So that is That Works in Progress. If anybody's made this before and you could say how you did that, because the lip is supposed to go over. Mine just isn't. I'm not happy. Anyway, okay. So there's that. And it's in this beautiful bag, this Bumblebee. Well, it's a Hannah Lou Designs. She sells her bag through Bumblebee Acres. If you watch my channel, you've seen me open this bag and show it off. Beautiful. All right, so there's that. And then um, my sweater, I'll go ahead and show it. It doesn't look any different. I did work on the arms. This is a knit sweater. Um, and I'm on the, I have every, I, well, I have the arms left to do and lots of ends to weave in. And so I'm doing the arms tandem. I've got them each on 16 inch circulars for now. And here the hair is, it probably doesn't really look any different than last week, does it? <laughs> Not really. I'm at the point where I'm like, I can't even see what I'm showing you. I'm like, is it maybe if I just leave it with short sleeves, but no, I'll finish it. So I did work on it though, but I'm doing them both at the same time. So I guess, you know, you could see one is longer than the other. I need to switch to the other arm. So that's my knit sweater. And the pattern is by Hohi Locatelli. It's called the Basic Raglan Sweater. I'm using the needles I'm using are um, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it's four millimeter. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's four millimeter. That's, and I have them on my Chow Gu 16 inch circulars. And I have two because, you know, well, I'll tell you why I have two of these. Because I accidentally bought, I was wanting to buy four millimeter 16 inch circulars, but I bought... Nope. See, that's a regular one. By accident, I bought this. And I don't like that. I don't know the difference. If, it, it, if the name is different, I'm sure that it is. But I prefer, I, so I don't like these. So I said, well, I have to go buy this. I got to buy another one. And I didn't return this because I did use it. I was using it. I was like, I just, I can't. So I like this one better. So that's why I have two of these um and the yarn that i'm using that's off on a tangent so the pattern hohi locatelli basic raglan sweater it's a paid for pattern off ravelry and i'm using another knit picks yarn because i love knit picks called city tweed dk weight it is plum wine the colorway is plum wine they come like this well that's about half size 50 grams 123 yards, 55% merino wool, 25% super fine alpaca, 20% donical tweed, and yes, it's a DK number three. Um, and that's that. So there's that. So I did work on it some. And then my last works in progress are my socks. And I haven't made a ton of progress on these. I got all wrapped up in the little projects. But I'll show you my socks. Here are my socks. And I was like halfway, whoop, halfway through the heel last week. So I've finished the heel. I finished it and I've started on the foot. So there's that, there's my sock. I took the uh, progress keeper out. I don't know why I forgot to put it back in, but there it is. And the pattern that I'm using is, um, it is by KF Jones of the Bakery Bears podcast here on YouTube. It's called the Crunkled Socks. 
It's a paid for pattern. I got on Ravelry. So pretty. I love those socks. So uh, that's what I'm knitting, those socks. And the yarn that I'm using is Lolo Did It. Don't get that mixed up. Lolo did it. Here is what's here's the cake of yarn. Lolo did it on her everyday sock base. It's called Ravenclaw, the colorway. It is 100 percent or 100 grams, 463 yards. Um, it's four ply fingering weight, 75 percent superwash merino, 25 percent nylon. And so that's the yarn that I'm using. And I knit these on, these are my Addies 2.25 millimeters on 32 inch cord. And I do cuff down. I've only knit one or two pairs of socks toe up. I don't like that. I really can't get, I can't, don't like how it leaves the cuff. That's the last thing you do. And you do like a stretchy bind off. Mine always looks terrible. I like the cuff tapered in better than like that. So I do my, that for that reason, I do cuff down. So there it is. I like it a lot. So that's all my f works in progress. And that's all I have for you today. I want to welcome, I should have done this at the beginning, but like I said, I'm kind of in a rush. Um, but welcome to all my new subscribers and all of my returning subscribers and anybody else out there returning that might not be subscribed um if you do like this podcast i'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and if you feel interested enough i would hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment so that's all guys i um, want to thank you for joining me i hope the rest of your week is great i will be of course i have some acquisitions i will do a separate video for for later in the week so have a look out for those and until then I'll or I'll see you then and until then bye